so a very warm hello to you and welcome back to another video and in this one first i'm going to do harvesting of the bun mushrooms that you see in front of you let's call them portobello mushrooms because they've grown to such a <coughs> big size so they aren't button mushrooms any longer so what i'll do is because i wasn't able to give them much time so i have not been able to water them too much so you can see some of them have dried up and turned pale i would rather call this uh, you know uh, i would say settlement of dirt over over all these uh, for the reason because i think if i'm going to wash them as soon as i'm going to wash them after harvesting them so i am hoping that they would probably turn very close to white if not exactly off white color so what i'm going to do now first of all is to harvest this right in front of you and then i'm going to tell you people a great advantage of harvesting and farming your own mushrooms right inside of your home because i'm doing it inside my own house and it's very easy i would rather call this kind of a farming set it and forget it kind of farming so if you're somebody who is uh, not really up for for uh, growing veggies for their kitchen garden this is something that you should try your hand at because mushroom growing is way way easier than growing those tomatoes and onions and okras and everything else in between you know and 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 even those uh, uh what do you call them fruits of course i'm sorry so yeah rather than growing all the fruits and vegetables try your hand at this one why because it'll get you used to <coughs> doing a bit of farming now and then because this is a vegetable which requires least amount of attention absolutely least amount of attention and i mean it because i've been doing it for a good 6 months now so i can say it with confidence let me show you another kind of mushroom which is growing this is one part of a closet and the other part of the closet is up there and obviously i'm not going to move the camera but i'm going to bring in another another uh, sort of a mushroom that is almost ready to harvest just have a look so this is a white oyster mushroom and let me just keep it very very carefully back on to the space it was that so yes i'm i've done it so the fact is let's first harvest and then eventually decide what kind of a dish to cook out of these and then i have uh, you know i would say broccoli and cauliflower and uh, carrot and peas and beans yeah beans so probably we'll try to make something up mixing all these up and probably barbecue with some barbecue sauce not sure though but let's first harvest and then uh, eventually i'll tell you how you can get your button mushrooms or portobello mushrooms or as less as 20 30 and 40 rupees a kg if you are living in one of the metro cities of india because i have traveled to all the metro cities of the country and i can say it with confidence and with great levels of conviction that you can get these kits if you are in uh, any metro city of india they are available are readily available in government institutes in and in delhi if you are somebody who is living in delhi like me uh, currently i'm living in delhi so you have an idea where to get this from and this is just for 150 rupees and i have no monetary gains while i tell you about this there's no monetary gain whatsoever government is not paying me i am not a government employee <laughs> So the fact is that you can get it for 150 rupees and obviously you'd want to know where to get these from so from each one of these you can get at least 5 to 7 kg of mushrooms depending on obviously what kind uh, the, the the kind of technique that you use uh, for you know growing these at your home i've used a very different technique uh, uh, you know i i did a lot of research on scientists who grow mushroom so i was able to fetch at least 5 to 7 kg of mushroom from each of the bags which we eventually imply implies that i could uh, you know get my 1 kg of mushroom for even less than 20 rupees a kg so you, even if you are able to get uh, it for about 30 40 50 rupees it's not a big deal because per kg because when you go out there in the market you buy these very mushrooms for 40 to 50 rupees for 200 grams multiply that by 5 as about 2 to 300 rupees just imagine the kind of money you're going to save and it's all going to go into your pocket and you can eventually buy something else from that money so anyway let's harvest these mushrooms and then 
close the video up and if you want to know where to get these mushroom kits from you got to ask me ask me via obviously the comment section area and don't forget to subscribe because if you haven't i'm not telling you anything baby so let's go I think I have harvested good enough for today or uh, should I probably go for another one because I'll tell you a reason why I am harvesting more than regular so I think that's more than enough and uh, let me just put it inside the little not so little but this container that i have which obviously i'm going to use to wash uh the button these mushrooms as well so you just have a look at how black they've grown from this is the these are the gills you call this part is the gills in english of course i don't know the hindi translation for it i'm so sorry about it so let me fetch that one as well and let's fetch that one too so this must be at least at least 1 kg i can i can actually feel this this is 1 kg of mushroom just imagine if you're getting these and these are you you may be uh, slightly appalled at how dirty they are looking but don't worry if you're going to wash them the moment you're going to wash them they are going to become as white as if you've used tied on them no just kidding so anyway is not as dirty as they look after you wash them so this is at least 1 kg of mushrooms that you see right in front of you just imagine that you are in the market you go you would have shelled out at least 300 rupees if not 300 obviously depending on what part of the city you are in whether it's delhi bombay or any other city you could have eventually uh, you know on the upper limit you could have spent about 300 rupees a kg on the lower limit 200 so you're saving two of those notes at least two of those purple colored notes so yes uh, thank you so much for watching the video and i'm probably going to cook as i suggested mix vegetable szechuan sauce or uh, barbecue sauce and maybe fried rice i don't know so let's see thank you once again see you soon in another video and let me know if you want to know where to get these mushrooms from if you're in delhi and ncr i can suggest to all those people living in other metro cities as well i can suggest the name of the place obviously you are the one who has to go and buy so yes ask me anything and trust me i'm going to give you the most precise answer you're going to get on youtube thank you once again take care bye bye